Patriots, welcome back to x TV. I'm Mia Seymour, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You have be seated. Today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Now let's go to Catherine for today in history. In history, on December 13th, 1642, Dutch navigator Abel Tasman sighted an island in the South Pacific Ocean. This island was New Zealand. Abel Tasman was the first European to find Tasmania and confirm Australia as a continent. New Zealand is added to his list of accomplishments. After he found New Zealand, he sailed to the northern part of the island and named it Staten Land. Then he came back and renamed it New Zealand. Those are some amazing accomplishments. Now let's go to Daniela for today's lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is three cheese cavatappi, seasoned breadstick, turkey and cheese wrap, seasoned Italian veggies, fresh broccoli, buttermilk ranch dressing, garden side salad, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is breakfast tater tots and nachos, apple frutal, cherry frutal, chocolate chip muffin, raisin bran, ground cookies, fresh apple, and 100% orange juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit and let's head back to Nia. Thank you, Daniela. That sounds great. Here's a continuation of our favorite RPTV trio with our holiday shop. Well, that was exciting yesterday. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, guys, where's all the stuff? Maybe Santa's helpers didn't bring them yet. Well, I can't wait till it opens. I'm so excited. Oh. Yeah, the holiday shop is almost here. Finally. What are you planning to get? I'm not sure yet. I have to see what they have. Well, it opens this Friday, so don't forget to tell your parents. True, true. Hey guys, do you know what I was thinking? Nope. We should give the school a sneaky peeky on when the store opens. Good idea, but this time, let's get permission. I'm really looking forward to seeing that sneak peek tomorrow. As you know, Patriots, our holiday shop is back and opening on Friday. Let your parents know and check the schedule for your class's day. I'm so excited to buy my family some gifts. Tomorrow, fifth and sixth graders will have the chance to go to the Patriots store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Don't forget to manage your time. Tomorrow, why don't you put your creative mind to test by doing some holiday-related activities? Tis the season to be creative. Patriots, please keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Are you ready? Because tonight is bingo. Tickets and dinner packages are available in the cafe. It's also hosted by the cheerleaders. It starts at 6 p.m. I'm so excited. January 19th is our due date for our instructional software. And your reward will be a pizza and popsicles party. Let's all be studious. This Friday is our sweater party. From 6 to 9 p.m., you get to experience the best sweater party. Along with this train of fun is a meal. And whoever has the ugliest sweater is crowned the Christmas Cozy Champion. The last day of pain is today, so make sure to bring in your money. Did you get your sweater yet? Since our boys' soccer is over, now it's time for our girls' soccer. The tryouts are tomorrow at 3.45 through 5 p.m. in the gym. Just make sure to have a completed grade paper. Today, fifth graders have their fast math. Make sure to get some extra sleep. Math takes focus. Let's for the breeze with Camilo. Thank you, Nia. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 76 degrees Fahrenheit with rainy skies. It's a good day to stay home and play video games. In other weather news, NASA has built a $5 billion project to Jupiter. NASA used sewing machines and wrapped up Europa clippers to withstand Jupiter's extreme temperatures such as sub-freezing and high radiation. Europa was sent 2 billion miles to study Jupiter's moon Europa. The Europa clipper will be suited up with 22 warm blankets that can get you warmed up too. NASA stated that the Europa clipper will set off in October 2024 and return in 2030. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Now let's wish our Patriots happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Awa Berthamu, Aaliyah Fabian, 
Jaden Major, and our Rex Pines teacher, Miss Soto. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here at Pax Expectations, represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools right respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Nelson, Miss Ariola, Miss Merkel, Miss Denqua, Miss Arnold, Miss Cavalita, and Miss Cher for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what is the capital city of France? The correct answer was Paris. Today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! Who, in 1903, was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at jmail.com before 9 a.m. or order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced in the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPT would like to wish you all a winter Wednesday. Have a snowy day!